Hey boys and girls, so this is how I'm going to try to record um, some of our read alouds because I did not bring a, any of my poetry books home with me. And since we don't have access to school, this is the next best thing. So what I've done is uh, this is somebody else's YouTube video and I have it on mute and I'm going to read um, and kind of do like a voiceover of their video. So we're going to start with Wonton and Chopstick. Now I love this story because it's actually the second story of the series. The first story is just about Wonton. So Wonton is a cat the cat over there, um, and she's found in a shelter. And this is the story of how she comes to find that she has a new friend living in her home. And the story is told entirely of haiku. Okay, so since I went through the whole spiel, I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit. There we go. All right, wonton and chopstick. And as I'm reading, you can maybe um, count along um, to some of the different um, syllables. The routine. It's a fine life, boy. Nap, play, bathe, nap, eat, repeat. Practice makes perfect. The sneaking suspicion. Yawn. Who dare disturb my beautiful snooze? Duty calls, must snoop before snack. Proper cats prefer playthings with feathers or fur. So whose toys are these? Curious, this door is never closed. Perhaps yowl is the magic word. Now who do those toys look like they belong to? Those don't look like cat toys. Yeah, you're right. They probably are dog toys, or at least in my experience, that's what they probably are. The surprise. Ears perk, fur prickles, belly low I creep, peak, freeze, my eyes full of doom. Master of escape. High flying, dog defying, acrobatic cat. Put him out, 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 put him out. Wait, I said him, not me. The naming. Cisco's first. Sushi. Cookie, noodle, scraps. Great rats. It's a dog, not lunch. Brutus, ninja, fang. Cats don't laugh, boy, but I might make an exception. Chopstick. Why not fork, spoon, or spatula? Dumb pup. Wags his tail no matter what. Don't bother barking. Your real name, I've already guessed, must be pest. The rules. Hey, pest, heed my hiss. My blankie, my bull, my boy. Trespassers bitten. Cat is not happy. The altercation. Do you know what altercation means? They're going to have a fight. Who ate my dinner? Your eyes say no, no, but your breath brags of tuna. Keep your distance, pest. I have five compelling reasons, and that's just on one paw. Put them out, put them out, put them out, put them out, put them out. Wait, I said him, not me. The banishment. Picket fence lament. Woe is me, yow. The crowd howls. Cue for an encore. Pounced a plump mouse, but set him free. Just not hungry. Maybe tomorrow. Alone. Cue curled tail. Night is cold without you, boy, despite my fur coat. The adjustment. Yes, my bowl is clean, morsels, fishy, fresh, I guess. Still not hungry. If I huddle here in the shadow, will boy forget to send me away? Oh. Bathroom skirmish, ends in triumph, boredom subdued. And can I blame you? Put him out, put him out, put him out. Wait, I said him, not us. 
the vindication. Chew toy lost its squeak. Why not gnaw this shoe instead? I'm sure boy won't mind. New bone to bury, soil's much softer over there. I'm sure mom won't mind. Play chase with you? Yawn. Why not ask some other cat? No, stop. Never mind. Cat's trying to get him in trouble. The bath. Towel, brush, tub of suds. Such a lot of fuss and muss to still smell like a dog. I'm self-cleaning. I'm self-cleaning. Watch. Easy. One, two, three. Even with eyes closed. Lick, 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 lick. Great rats. You touched me. Now I must start all over again. That's actually how cats are. They like lick themselves to get clean. And then if you touch them, they get like really upset and they have to start cleaning themselves all over again. The rainy day. No one home except the wet and you. Is a pest better than nothing? You shouldn't rummage through the rubbish. But what's done is done. Let's eat. I play with balls too, but much smaller, less slobber, and never, and I never fetch. Great rats, it's only thunder. Who knew you'd be such a scaredy cat like me? Breaking news, you snore, twitch, and whimper too, yet you make a soft pillow. Looks like they're becoming friends. Harmony. Belly pounce, nose lick, whiskers kiss, ha, can't escape, furry alarm clocks. My chin requests boys' skillful fingers in return, symphony of purr, some parts of woof, and I will never understand, but practice makes perfect. Your secret revealed. What kind of name is Basso? I shall call you friend. Okay, boys and girls. So I thoroughly enjoy that book. If we go back to one of the pages, let's just look at this page for a second. And let's just count the syllables in that first stanza. So we have chew toy lost its squeak. Why not gnaw this shoe instead? I'm sure boy won't mind. Ready? Let's count it out. Chew, toy, lost its squeak. Why not gnaw this shoe instead? I'm sure boy won't mind. Five, seven, five. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this read aloud. And I will see you guys again soon. In the meantime, I'd like you guys to think about the story and try to write a haiku. Give it a try. See what happens. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.